So 2018, we really struggled for the first couple of rounds because we didn't quite have the car right. We battled the car and got to round three and we decided that we wanted to completely change the setup. So we, we actually had a new couple of sponsors come on board. We had DY Engine Services, Link ECU. We decided at that point where we would sort of take a step back, get the car right. So we took the engine to DY Engine Services and he did a full rebuild for us. So we had a fully forged 2J cam, uh, new APW manifold, full link Fiori G4 ECU and basically built from the, from the bottom up. So we, we took a bit of time with that where we didn't, want to, we didn't want to rush. So we wanted to have it right to make sure we, were, we would finish the year. In, in a much better position. So between rounds two and three, we actually built a full separate car into one of my old chassis, my old S14. We managed to fit a 2J, change all the running gear in, in a week. We started the Thursday, the so week far, before. Problems with his pro car, him and his team, you know what, hats off to those guys. They jammed all week, they threw a car together just to get here and they said they've just had issue after issue. It's just not been the weekend that Oliver Evans was hoping for. ETU, DY Engine Services, Oleko Drift, ABW Engineering, Westlake Tires, Penguin Shop Speed, and this man is gone. Small, oh. dark and handsome, but gets it all wrong. 34.3 knocks Oliver Evans out of competition, so that is the end of the week. We didn't quite have the result we wanted, but we, we didn't really expect to do too well with a car that we'd only just built, so, but all that allowed us to do was it just sort of took the pressure off us to get the VP car ready then for, for round four. Yeah, massive thanks to Andy and Phil for helping me put this, this car together, this car together, and Old Spice, who doesn't actually build my car, just to, just to clear things up. <laughs> uh, Old Spice, who doesn't build the car, he just stands around watching us build the car, and he's very good at advising you after you've done something on how to do it so don't fucking listen to him <laughs> we went to pro tuner to have it set up where we had a few issues as you will do with any any sort of new build the, the car made 640 brake on 1.2 bar and boost After the mapping, we managed to get a quick test session in at Three Sisters Circuit where we could have a quick shakedown of the car. So ahead of round four, we were, you know, we had the car right and we felt super confident in what we'd done. We came up against Matt Carter in the top four and it felt like an achievement in itself with having coming up against a guy that you know is the fastest in the UK to then beat him as well. For me, that itself was a result and battling him and going up against Wayne McKeever in the final. Let's go, McKeever to lead in Evans. Evans tucks in behind him. What can he do in the chase position? He's going to make a big dive. He looks for the door straight away in. Look, Look at, at the proximity. Whoa! Oh, a bumper on transition. Whoa. Evans makes a dive again. Could Evans be the one to take down McKeever? Door to door. They make contact wheel to wheel. Oh, Evans knocks himself out of it. He needs to get back into the fight. McKeever stays tall as he stands on the accelerator. Evans falls behind and they Whoa. bring it across the line. Wigan makes some noise for Dwayne McKeever and Oliver Evans. Wow. So after round four, we wanted to go across the, to compete in the IDC, which was Jap Fest at Mandalo. And that's, that for me is one of the biggest events of the year. My second qualifying run. Right up there in the mix. Oliver Evans, big weight transfer entry on initiation. As he hammers. Now come over the hill. I had bottom the suspension. Oh, tire off the rim, Dave. Yeah, tire off with Steph. Yeah, tire completely Before he even got off to the rim. Three, pulled the tires off the rim. Rolling across the gravel. So you're going to need all four to get this track done. And he sits on the rim. And that is a DB for uh, Oliver Evans. We qualified in the Drift Masters. 500 horsepower to JZ under the bonnet. A lot more horsepower this year for Oliver Evans. I think he's running up near 600 now. And a big weight transfer entry from the UK driver. 
Oliver Evans with a point to prove. Miss Fortune yesterday is looking to get some redemption as he fires that VP Racing Field S14, as you mentioned, into the outer zone. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from Oliver Evans right now. Flicks it to the wall and a good line as he gets into outer zone six. This is going to be a very high score for Evans. Already sitting on an 85.3. Can he go top? Unbelievable stuff from the young man from Wales. So the first battle we came up against, Adam Zalewski. Uh, top, top drivers. Here we go. Evans going to lead the line. The 2017 champion is going to chase him down as they come over the hill. An all international affair, country pride on the line. Here we go. Evans drops the wheel, but so does Zaslewski as he follows him. Evans now filling that outer zone, but the Polish driver hot in his heels as he chews down the door of the VP Racing S14. Evans taking it to the wall once again, but look at this Ian from Zaslewski. He's all over him through the final sections. We were feeling confident going into round five, so one of the battles of the weekend for me was going up against ex-Formula Drift driver Darren McNamara. These two guys are going to go hard. I can see it going wheel to wheel, collisions, fireworks, flames, you name it, it's going to happen right now. Yeah, this is going to be an electric one. The Irish two for two into the grade eight. Could we see Darren McNamara follow suit? Oliver Evans needs to do something here to restore British pride. What can he do against the Boston Group D? Back in court, McNamara oh, dropping two McNamara. wheels off circuit in. Yeah, McNamara goes wide, puts the car to the wall, sack. Salvages the run, Only Evans stays in it, starts to find the door of the Group D PS13. As McNamara squeezes the throttle and starts to drive away, can he escape the grip of the VP Racing Fuels driver as Evans now finds the side of that car one more time, one more dive left for Evans as he pushes Darren McNamara across the finish line and gets lost in the smoke, couldn't even see him. They are go indeed, and look at this Darren McNamara not letting Oliver Evans get away as they initiate into that first turn, McNamara straight onto the back bumper of that VP Racing Fuels S14. They transition back into the centre of the circuit. A little bit of separation emerges as Oliver Evans squeezes the accelerator and tries to drive away, but McNamara keeps the distance and now makes another dive. Evans almost goes off track there, very wide from Oliver Evans. McNamara squeezes one more time, gets onto the back bumper, almost contact as he pushes Oliver Evans across the finishing line. Pride of England hangs in the hands of a Welshman at the moment. Kieran Hines says Oliver Evans. David Egan says Oliver Evans. Ryan makes it, you know, as Oliver Evans gets the win and advances through, knocking out the ex Formula D driver. Just going to come back harder and faster than ever next year, ready to go. And next year, better watch out.